Hello friends, today we are going to study about how to solve a quadratic polynomial and finding the zeros of this. And also I am going to tell you about how to verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient of this polynomial. Look here, I had taken three different examples. Sometimes look here, last number is not there. Sometimes the middle number is not there. Uh, you can say ax square plus bx plus c equals to 0. This is the standard form. Look here. By this standard form, last number is not given to you. By this standard form here, the middle number is also known. And this is simple equation. So I am going to solve all the three and, and at last I am going to verify this. Okay, how we can find the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient of this polynomial. Now how to solve? I had made two, three videos on splitting the middle term in detail. So if you want to watch it, please watch that. I am doing it little bit earlier uh, in this. So here they had given us 6x square minus 7x minus 3. So first step, we have to multiply the coefficient of first and last means 6 into minus 3 minus 18. Then we have to factorize minus 18 in such a way or we have to find that it multiplication becomes minus 18 and the addition becomes middle term that is minus 7. So that will be minus 9 into 2, 9 into 2, 18. But here minus is there so we will keep minus here because minus 9 plus 2 gives you minus 7. So your two factors are minus 9 and 2. So here we are going to solve it. x square then we are going to split this minus 7 into two parts minus 9x plus 2x and then minus 3. Now common from this two, common from this two, 3x will be common x minus sorry 2x minus 3 and here we are not getting anything common so 1 and 2x minus 3 now we are getting 2x minus 3 common in both the cases so 2x minus 3 common and the remaining one is 3x plus 3. so these are the two factors these are not zeros now we are going to find the zeros how we can find 2x minus 3 equals to 0 and 3x plus 1 equals to 0. Now minus v, 3 will go that side. So it will be plus 3 and x is equal to 3 by 2. So, so this is our first 0. You can call it as alpha 3 by 2. Now you will get beta from this. 3x is equal to minus 1. x is equal to minus 1 by 3. Alpha, or oh sorry, beta minus 1 by 3 these are the two zeros it was simple but now um, some changes will come in this 4u square plus 8 in this we were splitting the middle term but here only two terms are there so when look here we were making four terms and taking common from two so here directly we will take out common as 4u and the remaining will be u plus so this will be our factors and directly we can say 4u is equal to 0, u plus 2 is equal to 0. So u will be 0 by 4 means 0 and here u will be minus 2. So your alpha will be 0 and beta will be minus 2. Now I am going to solve this third one that is t square minus 50. Now here middle number is not there so what we have to do just we have to convert this 15 into root 15 whole square that is t square minus root 15 whole square means we had added root and root also and square also so it will get cancelled and 15 will remain but we don't want to cancel we had just added so that we will get a equation that a square minus b square identity we know that one time it will be a minus b a plus b so that same thing we are going to do it here t minus root 15 and t plus root 15 will be the factors so t minus root 15 is equal to 0 
and t plus root 15 is equal to 0. So t will be root 15 and this t will be minus root 15. So your alpha here will be root 15 and beta will be minus root 15. Now we are going to verify the relationship of these zeros with the coefficient. Look here. I here in my first equation we had got root 3 by 2 and minus as the zeros and my equation was 6x square minus 7x minus 3. So what alpha plus beta is equal to minus b upon a and alpha into beta is equal to c upon a. The answer should we will get the same answer on both the side we are keeping 3 by 2 plus minus 1 by 3 we have to take out LCM so you are multiplying with 3 and you are multiplying with 2 so we will get 9 minus 2 by 6 that is 7 by 6 so now check that minus b upon a means also you are getting the same answer minus b means b is minus 7 so we'll get minus minus we will put minus minus 7 and our a is 6 so this minus minus will become plus here 7 by 6 look here both answers are same now we are going to multiply this alpha into beta should be equal to c by a so what is alpha 1 by 3 sorry 3 by 2 and what is beta into minus 1 by 3 now we will 3 3 cancel so we will get minus 1 by 2 on the other side c what was c in my equation you know what was c here it's, it was minus 3 it was minus 3 and what was a 6 again we will cancel it 1 2 so you will get minus 1 by 2 so here also you can see both answers are so, so this way we can verify the zeros of the cof zeros with the coefficient thank you so much for watching my video in my next video i am going to explain you about trigonometry so i am going to make it a video on introduction of trigonometry so if you like this video please subscribe to my channel so that i can bring more such videos for you thank you so much